Welcome back to Learn PHP on Code Academy. We're in the introduction to PHP functions. This is defining functions. Let's get right to it and create our first function. Here we have function greet learner, and it has this code block that will echo three strings. Let's walk through the code above. We use the function keyword to start our function definition. We name the function greet learner. Function names must start with a letter or underscore followed by any number or letters, numbers, or underscores. We created a code block with curly braces. The code inside this code block will execute when our function is invoked. Within that block, we wrote three instructions. Echo hello learner, new line, echo I hope you're enjoying PHP, new line, and echo love code academy. With our greet learner function defined, we'll be able to invoke the function multiple times and print those strings without having to copy or retype the three echo statements again and again. A few notes on naming conventions. We typically snake case separate words with underscores our variable names, but in order to easily tell the difference between variables and functions in our code, we'll do something different when naming functions. We're going to use camel case for our function names. We'll start with a lowercase letter and then capitalize the first letter of every new word. Camel case first snake case. Another good practice is to name functions in a way that describes what they do. Typically, we'll start function names with a verb. In the next exercises, we'll show you how to invoke a function. For now, let's get some practice defining them. Our instructions say define a function named praise PHP. You can leave the function body blank for now. Let's do that here. Let's run that. We do pass. Add at least one echo statement inside your function body which prints a string praising the PHP language. Let's do that here. Let's run that. Forgot the semicolon. Run it. We do pass. Now that your function is fully defined, run your program. Notice what happens or really what doesn't happen. So let's run it. And we do notice that nothing is printed out to the console. That's because we haven't invoked our function. And we'll learn that in the next one as long as you're getting how to write out the function and add code within the code block. You're getting this lesson. We'll cover invoking in the next one and I'll see you there.